So we're down here at the market and we're looking at Salt Spring wooden toys and all the cool stuff, the trains, very, these are not plastic, they're handmade. They're all handmade, hey? Yeah, they're all handmade. Right. I make them all out of uh, reclaimed and recycled material. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, so the train and the airplanes are all hardwood flooring. Oh, really? Yep. So I've taken the um, hardwood flooring that has been has been given to me, which is oh, nice. Right, right. Uh, well, my concern was a lot of the wood was going to end up either in landfill or in a burn pile somewhere. Right. And I look at the, the some of the natural beauty in the wood itself, and oh, it's I, just I, incredible I just wood. I couldn't see it being burned. Yeah, and it's beautiful wood. Oh yeah. And so and you've turned it into just incredible. There's lots of traits. nice. There's lots of nice species. I love the float planes. You, and so your studio hardwood. is right here on Salt Spring. Yeah, it's Whereabouts right here. is it? It's on Long Harbor Road. Right. Uh, uh, just before you go into the ferry terminal. Oh, okay. It's the red barn on the left oh, hand okay. side. So people can pop out and see you sometime yeah. during We're the week? We're open on Fridays, Fridays, Sundays, and Thursdays. And down here at the market all uh, summer. All summer we'll be here all the market. At the Salt Spring Market. Just an incredible uh, toys. Of, well, I was saying earlier that we have kids and the plastic toys are terrible. I would never buy another plastic toy in my life for a kid. Uh, well, they don't last and they break and they're, they're dangerous when they break and they end up in the backyard. Part of what prompted me was watching my children chew on plastic toys oh, and wondering exactly. where is that piece of, like did they chew a piece off of it and swallow it and what was in it and what was on it and what, oh, like, yeah, you know. Exactly. Ugh. So that got me thinking about actually starting to make toys out of wood and I remember having wooden toys and as, as a child myself growing up, unfortunately, I, don't, I lost track of it. Right. But what I am thinking about when I'm making these toys is that I'm making them for my grandchildren, I'm not making exactly. it for just, you know, just for my kids. I want to make it Because they'll last forever. And at the prices that you charge, they're almost cheaper than the plastic toys. I mean, that's amazing. And then how long they're going to last, and they're all handcrafted. Mm -hmm. Well, they're fantastic. Hopefully some people will see the video and pop out to your studio and uh, support you and buy some of your toys. Have a great day. Thank you so very much.